friends, it is Jordan Jonas Sparks. So, I'm wondering what do you guys think about me getting a selfie stick? I've always been 100% against them, but with how much uh, vlogging I've been doing lately, I think it would be better so it's not so shaky and there's a better picture, but we'll see, because I mean, I'd have to carry around the selfie stick everywhere I go. I don't know if they're compact or much about them. I just see like 10,000 people and roll my eyes and never wanted one, and now I'm like, maybe I should join the crew. Anyway, so I'm just heading to go pick up my resume and headshot from Staples for the audition later today. It's at 515 Harvard Ad Center. Uh, if you missed the last vlog, it's for the magicians. They're hiring a dancer who can lip sync. It's gonna be Les Mis era. No idea really what to expect, but I'm super excited, not really stressed out, so that's good. Um, and I'm just heading to go get some food right now. Just coming up on a park here in uh, Yale Town, Vancouver. And uh, yeah, that's about it for now. I'll give you guys an update a little bit later, I guess. Found the staples. So let's go get those headshots. So I just got my resumes and headshots, and I am at Robson Square. Again, one of my favorite places, favorite spots in Vancouver. I haven't been here yet on this trip just because I've been so insanely busy with filming and whatnot, but I figured since I just had my lunch that I'd come here and chill for a bit and do a little bit of vlogging before I head back to get ready for my audition. So let's find somewhere to sit. So we are here at Robson Square and I have a massive pimple on my forehead. I've been breaking out like crazy because of all of the makeup that they put on us on set. They literally like come put makeup on you like 15 times in a day and anti-shine and powder and foundation and all this extra crap. And especially because we've been filming dance scenes, we literally have to just be like blotting the makeup into our skin. And then you start sweating and they're like, oh, you're shiny. And they come put on like another layer of makeup. That's the film life, but my poor skin doesn't like it, so I woke up with like a massive pimple there. Can't really see, but my face is completely breaking out. But the magic of makeup, they'll just smother me with makeup tomorrow when I'm back on set. 5.30 in the morning tomorrow. It's gonna be an early one. So I wanted to show you guys my headshots. I have uh, my little envelope here from Staples. And I actually was freaking out because I put in my order and then it said in the email in small print that they only do orders Monday to Friday during business hours and I was like, oh crap, I just put in my order last night and I have my audition today and so I called to check if that was true and she's like, yeah, we actually do orders but um, there's no way to expedite it, it won't be done until like 4.30 and my audition's at 5.15. So I was like, ouch, that's cutting it really close but I ended up getting an email at like 1.30ish that they were done. So. That was good. So here's my resume, pretty basic. If you guys are wondering if you haven't made your first acting resume, I can actually give you a quick little overview. So you just want like your name at the top. If you have your agent, you want that too. Your email address and contact information, what like your height and weight and eye color and all that kind of jazz. Then at the top here, I have my theater credits. And then um, underneath theater credits, we have our film and TV or commercial credits and stuff like that. Um, now when it comes to those kind of credits, you only actually put down like silent on camera or if you have um, an actual speaking role, things like that. You don't want to put down anything that you've done as like a background extra or that kind of thing for film because it just looks amateur and newbie and they don't, uh, won't take you very seriously. And then underneath that, I just have all of my training where I went to college to all the dance teachers and vocal teachers that I've worked with, acting professors and coaches over the years. And then in the very bottom here, I have some special skills. Sorry, I keep having to block the paper here because it's a tiny bit windy and it might blow away. Yeah, the bottom here, just special skills, whether you've done like sketch comedy, improv, if you've won any awards for your performing and stuff like that. And if you're able to do anything crazy, like, I don't know, some people can spin on their head or you can juggle or just things like that you want to put on your special skills. If you're a great swimmer, you can do like downhill skiing, like any of that can end up booking you more work. So it's definitely important to have. And then here's my headshot. This is actually the best quality printing that I've had at uh, from Staples before. 
they usually look a little of a lesser quality and this is one of my favorite headshots from one of my favorite favorite photographers she lives in Toronto Ontario if you any of you guys are from Toronto if you're actors dancers singers models you're looking for headshots you just want like a little photo shoot to do you, she's really fun she's great with kids her name is Maxine Powell and it's from anything goes photography she has a great studio in her own house she does lots of outdoor shoots amazing equipment and everything so literally pretty much anything that you need Maxine will be able to hook you up and um, I think that I will leave some links below here and you can check out her Instagram it's NETG photography so a n y t g photography and I will leave a link to her Facebook page as well so you can check that out and yeah here's my photo shoot we did this in and this is actually one of my only indoor studio type shots. Most of my headshots are outside. But uh, yeah, thank you, Maxime. She actually did a little bit of styling. This is not what I looked like. She's like, we're just gonna change your shirt here and put the, the collar over top of the jacket and stuff and made me look all leading man-like. So thank you, Maxime. And um, yeah, that is about it for now. I really look like a mess. I've got like some crazy hair going on. They chopped my hair off on set the other day because the tips were really blonde and long and they had to um, make me look like I was military. So they actually had to cut off a bunch of my hair in case any of you guys are wondering what happened to it. And um, yeah, it's just like now it's at that kind of awkward length that it just sticks out and like starts winging out on the sides and stuff and that's fun. but. Yeah, so I'm just going to have a little quick break here and then I'm going to, it's like super sunny and warm and back home it's like winter, so I'm trying to absorb all of this great weather that I can before I have to go back home to Alberta. So um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy my time here at Robson Square. I'll probably check out down there, there's like a, a rink, an arena where people are always dancing and performing, so I love to go check out what's there. Um, yeah, I just have to head home, get ready. My audition is at 5.15, and I will let you guys know how the audition goes. Um, oh, and I just wanted to say, for me, I always will, like, see random people in public, and they'll have, like, really great clothes or a really, really cute dog, and I always, like, have the impulse to compliment them, but then I'm like, oh, no, don't say anything. You don't want to come off as creepy. You don't want people to think that you're, like, hitting on them or make them uncomfortable, and, you know, I really realized that don't block that impulse. If you have that impulse to give somebody a compliment and to spread some great positivity and vibes into the world, then do that. Like if somebody, they might ignore you, they might walk past and pretend that you didn't say anything, or sometimes it might just completely make their day that you think they have the cutest freaking dog in the world, or maybe they had great shoes or a necklace or something, and you just really liked it, or they had really great eyes. Like, it was kind of um, humbling, I guess, when Dove Cameron came up to me on set the other day and was like, wow, you have insanely gorgeous eyes. And I was like, wow, I wouldn't uh, usually have the confidence to just go up to some random person and tell them that. And she's, uh, she's like a big star and she felt the need to come up and just be super nice and complimentary to the small people. <laughs> so that was really sweet. And yeah, I just want to encourage you guys to help people smile, help spread good vibes into the world, and yeah, make sure to stay sparkly. I will see you guys later. It's the wacky waving inflatable arm flailing to man in Borium. Hello, so it's about 3.30 and I'm just heading back to the house now so that I can get ready for the audition. Um, it'll be in about an hour and a half that I should be there, so. Just going to go quickly spruce up. I got myself a new hat, a Forever 21. It's got a diamond, because I'm a diamond, and you're a diamond. We're all diamonds, and we're all shiny and sparkly. So, that is about it. I'm going to uh, do a little bit more filming after the audition. I'll just let you guys know how that went, and that'll be about it for this one. And yeah, see you after the audition. So I'm being a complete basic and went and got a vanilla sweet cream cold brew from Starbucks before my audition. Um, so my life is way too coincidental when I'm here because Vancouver is not that small of a city and I just ran into Josh Caesar from 
set and I ran into him like three times in a row when I was downtown shopping and then I went into Starbucks to get this and the girl making my drink was uh, brand new training and uh, as soon as she looked up I was just smiling and I'm like hey and uh, her name's Risa and she's a dancer on set as well so I was like well I will see you on Monday morning and Josh is going to be at the Magician's audition. That's actually the one who told me about it on set. So that's super cool as well. So I'm still heading home to go get ready. And I will see you maybe after I'm ready. Maybe after the audition. She's doing fortunes. Friends, it is Jordan Jonas Sparks, and it is about 4:30, 4:40. I just finished getting ready for the magician's audition, and now I'm heading to Harbor Dance Center. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. I will get back to you guys after the audition. Hey guys, it's Jordan Jonas Sparks, and here's the crew. Hey, what's up? What's up? We're we're actually all on Descendants together. What's up? And Descendants too. Yeah. What's up? What's up? That's what's up? What's up? Shanice and Ken and Josh. And uh, yeah, we were just at the Magicians audition. We did like a dance call to. Um, oh yes, so yes, yeah, yes, so yes, so yes. Blah 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 blah. For the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun, for the gun. Yeah, that one from Chicago. <laughs> And it's uh, it was fun. We, it was really hot and sweaty. There was a ton of people, and uh, apparently we get the call tomorrow-ish if we're gonna. While we're on set. If they want us. Yeah, while we're on we set. If they us. want us. Yeah. If we're sexy enough. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. We're we'll going to sushi now. Yeah, that's sushi. Not. Yeah, we're gonna get sushi. We tried to find some, but for some reason it's all closed. Comment below. What's your favorite sushi? What? Yeah. What's your favorite sushi? What he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's keep you on my channel. <laughs> yeah, see you later.